Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I'm back on 18W05A. This is the new snapshot for 1.13. A lot of you are probably thinking, where are the aquatic update stuff? The delay for 1.13, I guess, comes with a bunch of new content that still hasn't arrived yet, so I guess this snapshot substantiates that. We have custom boss bars in Minecraft now that we can edit, and this is great because now this provides some sort of visual stimulation or stimuli, just with regards to the scoreboard stuff. A lot of people probably don't know how to mess with them, but Boss bars are great because it provides that visual element that we are all striving for. If you guys are asking whether we can edit the current boss bars, like the Ender Dragon one and the Wither Boss one, the answer is no, we can't. Uh, all we can do now is create and customize our very own. So I've created a bunch of them and I will go through them uh, later on because there are probably a few videos out there already that will explain this, but just to reiterate, slash boss bar is the new command and you can create one. That's the first thing you want to do. The ID, you can name it whatever you want. This is basically allowing you to target it. So use this name to target it. Now, the name is in JSON format. I know some of you guys are not familiar with this. There are websites online that will allow you to learn this or create your very own. There are websites that will generate them for you. But if you know how to use Tell Raw, you'll know how to uh, do this. So I am calling it Ender Dragon, and it's color white. So let me just make them more visible. Dragon 2. So I've made a bunch of them beforehand and I'm just making them visible now. So the first thing you want to do is create it. The second thing you want to do is not this, but you want to make them visible to a number of players. I've done at A here because I want to make all of these boss bars visible for all players. Uh, so those are the only two things you need to do. It is defaulted to visible. It's only invisible because you haven't selected the number of players you want to show them to. So two things. One, create the boss bar. Number two, select the players you want them to be visible for. Two things only. Now, I colored them in with various sets of colors with this command. You do have like a very limited number of colors, just like you have a limited number of boss bars that are visible on the screen. You can only have five. You can't have more than five. So you cannot cover your whole screen with boss bars. So the reason why I did this is because I went ahead in the live stream recently and I, <laughs> I did this. I wanted to mask the original boss bar. Of course, you know right now it's the one on the top, but as soon as you unload the chunks, you can mix and match them uh, whenever you want. So you can set the number of ones which you want to be visible, and then you can mix them up in between some of them. So you can confuse the player. You will not have them know which one is the real Ender Dragon boss bar. So there's a few tricks over there. Uh, otherwise, uh, normally when you change the color of the bar, it will change the color of the name. So uh, to supersede this, you simply allow yourself to add a color argument here, or string, whatever you would call it. So it will simply take precedence over the color of the bar. One of the first questions I received from the live stream chat was, is there a way to set a custom boss bar with a mob? And the answer is yes. So now you can have boss bars for simple mobs like guardians, creepers, skeletons, and this is how you do it. Obviously, this might change for 1.13. I will update you guys accordingly. So let me summon with the bizarre custom name. It'd be nice to have a co uh, command for that, but now you have a custom name thing that looks like this. So you can use this video as a reference point for um, how you can summon a mob with a bolded name or something like that. So this will summon a guardian with the ASDF name. And what I've done here is I'm going to create a boss bar, ASDF. This is essentially the same thing with text, ASDF, color, blah -de blah blah So let's do that. And as I said, the second thing you want to do is make it visible to all players. It's already visible, you just haven't set the players yet. And just like that, I have run the clock. This is going to set it to all players. So there are only two commands that will allow you to set the boss bar to have the attributes or display the attributes of an existing mob. And it is slash execute. Um, you are going to be storing the results within the boss bar for the guardian boss bar. It's going to set the maximum value to it's the guardian's entity data with data get, and it's going to take the attribute of zero, which is, as it so happens, the maximum health. Attributes zero dot base is the maximum health. So that's the first thing. So that's the maximum value. And the actual value, so the maximum value is when it's fully loaded. So I'm going to store it again within the boss bar. A value as guardian, <laughs> as guardian, oh my gosh, wow. Um, and data get entity 
uh, at S is health. So this is the only change here. It's the health. Now it's uh, it's at 29 health. You can see, and you can obviously just go through this video as many times as you want because um, this is fairly complex. We haven't acclimated to the new execute stuff, but you can look through this. It's pretty straightforward. Now the reason why it's at 29 uh, is because when I summoned it, it got suffocated in this block. I didn't obviously um, summon it above this uh, command block. So let me hit him, swipey swipe. He's already losing health. And um, once I kill him, the boss bar will remain because it will still try to find um, a, a guardian that has not died yet and it has died. So this boss bar will remain there until I summon another one. So uh, there you go. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Just got to play around with it. Um, obviously, it's slash execute. That's the more um, painful command here. It's not boss bar. Boss bar is pretty easy. Just want to create. This is not even necessary. And uh, you just want to set all players to have them enabled for them. So that's one thing I did. The second thing here is I managed to, um, instead of the health of a guardian, I decided to store my XYZ coordinates in boss bars. Let's remove this one. So again, boss bar. Uh, let's just do set guardian visible false. Why not? So as you can see, as I fly higher, the Y coordinate increases and it will keep on going up until I reach the maximum height to uh, 256. Now it's all the way to the top, and if I, as I fall down, it will diminish accordingly pretty fast. Uh, as you can see, if I go towards positive X and positive Z, so this way, all the boss bars X and Z will increase. And if I go backwards, it will decrease. So you can store a lot of different values in these boss bars. Um, obviously, the uh, well, I'm assuming the most used uh, or most applied concept will be the, the health of another mob because it makes the most sense, but um, there's a lot of different things you can do. For example, you can store other stats like how many diamonds you've mined, how many mobs are near you, uh, whether you can sleep or not, things like that. It's uh, very straightforward stuff once you've gotten around to it. Uh, while I do appreciate a lot of these contents, uh, content inclusions in this update, um, I think it will be worthwhile for uh, Mo Yang to start releasing some other digestible content, things that are less technical than this. But for me, obviously, I really do love this. But for other people, they will start getting confused or just get lost. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. There's a lot of mathematics involved in this. Yes, I know. For people who watch the live stream, um, you will understand. Uh, thank you all for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe for more creative content. You can leave your questions in the comments. I'll get to as many as I can. And uh, otherwise, there are other technical minds in there that can assist you as well. Uh, subscribe for more creative content and news updates. Take care.